that's the best guess. It's like a stinking crayon. It applied nicely. I jacked it up already. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my September Ipsy bag and also my September BoxyCharm box here for you. So normally I do these videos separately, but I just have so many videos to put up right now that I'm combining these this month. And as usual, I have gone ahead and tried out these products. So I will be able to give you some little mini reviews on them. So yeah, let's jump into it. So starting with Ipsy, it says Glamazon, too glam to give a and then on the back it says, we're through with lazy beauty. Put away your sweatpants, let down your ponytail, and get glammed up just for the heck of it. So that's a cute little theme there. This is what the bag looks like. So it's fun. It's like they're like dancing and partying and having a fun time. So let's see what's inside. First I got a skincare product. This is the Eau Thermale Avine. That's the best guess. Hydrance Optimale. And it says hydrating serum. And um, I tried this last night. Let's see what is, does it say anything about it? it? Says very dehydrated, sensitive skin. Tightness, sensations of discomfort, fine lines caused by dehydration. Apply morning and or evening to the face and neck for enhanced results. Use the serum daily or as a complement to your regular skincare. So I did use this last night. Um, Seems pretty nice. It's kind of surprising. It seemed almost more like gel-like. So, you know, normally I think of like super hydrating things as being creams, but not necessarily. It's more like a gel. Um, oh yeah, I remember doing this last night. That was one thing I wanted to note to you guys is it does have a fragrance. Um, and I looked in the ingredients and there is fragrance in it. So that's never my preference for skincare. But if it is in there, I want it to smell nice. This isn't bad, but it's, it smells like something I can't think of what it is. Almost like baby powder, but it's not baby powder. So not really a fan of the um, fragrance and skincare isn't ever my first choice to get in bags or boxes. So this is just okay. Then I got the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. So I did use this today because it was a hair washing day. So used it before I blow dried my hair and I liked it. Like I really felt like when I went to style my hair, it just felt different, but in a good way. Like, almost like it had a thickness to it or not really a texture. I don't know, something about it, it just felt healthier and thicker. That could have totally been in my head, but I do feel like it felt different today using this than other days. But I also did use something from my BoxyCharm box that I will mention to you in a second. So it could be either or product or it could be both of them. So I do really like this. I got an eyeshadow from Dirty Little Secret. They have the cutest little polka dotted packaging. This is in Teaser. And I do have this on my eyes today. I have it in my crease and it's a really pretty crease color. Um, I always love getting makeup, like color cosmetics. That's always my first choice. So I was really excited to get this. It is pretty powdery, so you can probably see kind of the powdery kick up there, but it's also pigmented. So powdery really isn't a game changer for me. Like as long as it works and it's pigmented, I'm fine with it. And I really like that color. So this is a perfect one to just have in your makeup bag. So if you're using a palette that doesn't have a good transition shade, you've got one right here. I use my bronzer a lot for that as well, but this is another really good option, so I like this. Then I got a deluxe size sample of the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper. So it says instantly sexy lips. So I was a little bit nervous to use this because I've used their little like lip crayon ones that are supposed to be plumping and those are intense. So I used this today and I don't know that my lips look like a lot plumper at all, maybe a little bit. Um, and at first when I put it on, I was like, oh, I'm not really feeling anything. But it does take a second for it to kind of like kick in. And then it's definitely tingly. Um, I don't know, almost like you put cayenne pepper on your lips or something. So it's not like unbearable by any, any means, but it's not like, oh, this is a pleasant experience. I would still wear it. Um, I would still use it. And I feel like it did, it did maybe a little bit. Uh, but nothing like, I wouldn't say it's an extreme difference. I would say it's a slight difference and it's a little bit uncomfortable, but not unbearable. Then lastly in my Ipsy bag, I got a Tristique 
mini highlight stick and this says Maldives Luminescent. So I do have this on today and this is beautiful. I love this. It's adorable. I mean that is just, it's like a stinking crayon. <laughs> I love it. And this is just a beautiful kind of like champagne highlight. Like it is really nicely pigmented but it blends really well into the skin. I tried this two ways. I tried it by just like putting it on my face and then blending it in with a small stipple brush and then also I tried kind of um, swiping the brush across the product and then kind of like buffing it on my cheeks or tapping it on with the brush and both ways worked so I would say either way works just fine but you blend it in and it is just beautiful. I mean, love this. I think this is great quality. Really good Ipsy bag this month. I thought that was a really good one. So now on to BoxyCharm. So the theme this month is Camp Glam. It says, let's go glamping. Pack your hiking heels and get ready to glamp in style. So that is adorable as usual. And then the back is kind of like a little pattern, like a blanket or something. So super duper cute. First I got a nail polish. This is the Butter London Trend Nail Lacquer and it's a full size of $15. I got the color Yummy Mummy, and I do have my nails painted this color, so it's kind of like a, I don't know, cementy tan kind of a color. It's really, really pretty. I like these kind of like muted neutral shades. I think they're so pretty on the nails. So it was easy to work with. It applied nicely. I jacked it up already. <laughs> I I do that like almost every single time it seems, and it's always my first fingers because I'm trying to open something or I'm grabbing for something, and it was like an hour later when I messed this one up. This one I messed up pretty early on, but, so, they're jacked up, but I really like the color. <laughs> then I got a hair mask. This is a Project Beauty Hair Gurt. <laughs> that name just cracks me up. Smoothing Yogurt Hair Mask, and it's a full size and it's value of $11. It says, a smoothing yogurt hair mask made with yogurt protein, prebiotics, quinoa, a botanical oil blend and bio-keratin. So you're supposed to shampoo and rinse hair, apply the hair girt from roots to ends and leave in for five to 10 minutes and rinse thoroughly. So I got this in strawberry banana. Oh my goodness. This smells amazing. So amazing. Like, like a smoothie or something. It smells incredible. So I use this today and I don't know, like it has a different sort of a texture to it and feel in the hair than other hair masks that I've used. Like it doesn't feel as hydrating, just the product itself, it doesn't seem like it would be as hydrating. And I, and I felt like I used quite a bit of it to really kind of feel like it was in my hair. But like I mentioned earlier, I do feel like my hair just did better today and felt better today. So it very well may have done good things for my hair. So smelled amazing, I enjoyed using it and it's nice that it has a lot of really good ingredients in it. So this is, this is good, you know, like hair products aren't my favorite thing to get in boxes, but if it's gonna smell like strawberry banana, then I'm much more likely to be okay with it. So I do really like this. Then I got the Hikari Cosmetics Eyeliner. This is a full size and it's a value of $13. It says the perfect mechanical eyeliner with a smooth formula for easy application. So it doesn't necessarily say anything about it being long wearing, I don't think. No, it doesn't say anything about it being long wearing. Um, so today is the first time I have used this. So I am not sure about the wear time on it yet, but as far as like how it applied on the eyes, it was nice. Like I wouldn't say it was the most incredible liner I've ever used, but um, I mean, it's a good one. It's a black liner. It went on smoothly. It looks nice and dark. And so, yeah, I like the packaging. It's kind of like a rounded, like a curved square shape. It's not rounded. It's a square shape, but it's kind of a curved corner square shape. So this is good. Now we're getting into my favorite things in the box, which make me love, love, love the box this month. Like one of my very favorite boxes ever because of these two products. So this is the Pure Cosmetics Lip Lure and it's a full size and it's a value of $22. It has a long description, so hang on tight. Let your lips speak for you with beautifully bold color and brilliant shine. This richly pigmented lip lacquer saturates your lips in true color and pale perfecting hydration. Using a unique flocked shower head applicator, this creamy full coverage liquid formula 
creates a show-stopping look in just one stroke. Click the pen to dispense lip lacquer through shower head applicator. Start in the middle of the lips and sweep color across lips using the flocked tip to define lips for even color application. So I got the color Mystic and I am wearing this today. Really pretty packaging, it feels weighty, it feels fancy. So you open it up and you kind of like click it from the bottom to get the product out. I clicked it too much earlier so there is extra product already sitting there. And this is beautiful. Love this color for fall. I really like this product. I used this yesterday and it really seemed to give my lips a stain, but also a glossy look to them. And the gloss did stay around for probably one of the longest glossy products I've ever used. So it seemed like it really did stick around on my lips and just that stain stayed around for a very long time. So I Love this product. It felt nice on the lips. Just a beautiful color, fancy packaging. I really, really like this. And lastly, the standout thing from my BoxyCharm and really this whole video is this thing right here. This is so good. The Z Studio Makeup On The Go Palette. It's a full size and it's a value of $49.95. It says, On The Go Eyeshadow Palette is a compilation of shades that updates the Bare Beauty look with a cosmopolitan attitude. The on-the-go eyeshadow palette includes nine shades that are perfect for creating a day or night look. This packaging is really nice. It honestly reminds me of the Makeup Forever um, palettes. Just, I mean, everything about it. The look of it, the feel of it, the quality, everything. It does not have a mirror on it, so, um, or in it, so no mirror there. But this is what the palette has in it, so. I mean, just a beautiful, perfect, everyday palette. So I love the um, collection of colors that they chose. Really beautiful. Wait till y'all see the swatches, though. These are amazing. These are incredible quality. I have them on my eyes today. They worked just as nicely on the eyes. They blended really well. They were really easy to work with. This is awesome quality. So I have never heard of this brand before, but this is like knocked out of the park good. So super duper excited about this. This is so good. Okay, so that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag and my BoxyCharm this month. So both really good, but BoxyCharm has to be the standout favorite for me just because of the Pure Cosmetics lip product and that eyeshadow palette. Those are just awesome products and I love them. And I do really like this nail polish a lot. So that would be my pick for this month. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you got in your BoxyCharm or your Ipsy bag. If you want to sign up for either, I will leave my links down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my links, but if you do, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!